Hey guys, it's Shannon. And Paul. And today we're excited to bring you the Dogs vs. Squirrels. Awesome! <laughs> so these are fun blind bag plushies, Dogs vs. Squirrels. We want to thank the nice people at Sepia for sending these to us so we could open and share with you guys. These are the same people that make the Cats vs. Pickles and the Kittens vs. Gherkins and all those other fun things. <laughs> so first time we're going to be opening Dogs vs. Squirrels and we're excited about it. Yes. So we have a full box here. I'm going to let Paul go first. I really hope we get this camera flage squirrel. Me I too. love him. So I'm curious to see how large the checklist is going to be for yes. these. The cats versus pickles checklist is huge. Let's see who we have first. Whoa, oh, have a squirrel. You do. Oh, have a this squirrel. squirrel is awesome. So, okay, so these are little bean uh, bag filled plush. Um, this squirrel has a rainbow tail, which is awesome. And little lightning bolts down the side because squirrels are fast. Like little squirrel ears. It's a Harry up there. Potter squirrel. Little uh, teeth. And four little feet. And the so eyes cute. are embroidered. It is very cute. Little nose is not embroidered. So let's take a look at the checklist really fast here. How large is this checklist? Pretty big. Quite a few I can see can it. Get. Yes, there are. Wow. Okay, um, I think I think we have Chewy. But these come with tags. Yes, we have Chewy. <laughs> Attack mode, electrical specialist who loves to rewire homes. Oh no. Oh no, he chews through the electrical, electrical Stay wire. Stay away from our home, Chewy. Yeah, you're not kidding. So <laughs> that side and then that side too. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's a lot. Okay, I made little tear strips for us. Oh, thank you. Didn't work so well on my bag, but that's all right. Okay, oh, I have a dog, a puppy dog. I have like a little business dog. Look how cute he is. He has glasses, little yep. embroidered glasses. His little nose is embroidered and mouth. Oh, that's nice. He's wearing a tie and has a pencil. <laughs> this is Kenneth, a certified CPA, prepares all accounting and financial reports for the board. We need him. Okay. He's he's a good dog to have around. He is. A little CPA dog. Oh, I like the little logo on here. Oh, yeah. That's really cute. Okay, so there you go, the CPA. CPA dog. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Jumped right out. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's like a Doberman dog. This one's purple. It's like a bright, shiny plum. I would love a shirt that color. color. Yeah, this is a beautiful color. He has a tennis ball printed on him like he's playing with it on his back. Cute. A little neckerchief. And then a wide open mouth with a big tongue. I love the green eyes. This is Vinny. Just completed an invention... Intervention. Intervention over collecting socks. Tennis <laughs> balls are next. The bandana helps with drool. <laughs> Drooling dog. I mean, who's writing these tags? Yeah, they're creative. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. All right, next up we have another dog. Oh, this is a very dapper dog. Yes. Very fancy dog. He's like in his little doggy tuxedo or something. He has a bow tie, a little walking stick, and a pocket watch. Okay. Because every dog needs a pocket watch. Well, of course. There he is from the back. This is Jean-Claude. Some call him stubborn. He says he's assertive. Still trying to find decent French food. Shows love by passing gas. <laughs> oh, don't pass gas, you silly doggy. <laughs> oh, right here it says what breed they are. So he's a Frenchie. Okay. I was wondering what it said on the side. This one is a mutt. Okay, and this one is... Or oh, okay. okay, that's cute that they um, put the dog breed on there. I oh, like really. that. Does it say what breed of a squirrel? It does. Squirrel. Squirrel. No. <laughs> is that all it says is squirrel? It is. And they spelled squirrel correctly there. Yeah, in the package. On the, the title, it's not. I think it's because this dog right here, which is the one you got, he spelled squirrel, so he spelled it wrong. I think you're probably right. I ended up getting the two people in the front of the package. You did get the two people in the front huh. of the package. I didn't realize that. Oh. Next. <laughs> this one's got to be named Fifi. I have like a poodle <laughs> with binoculars or maybe opera glasses. I'm not sure. It's wearing a little uh, like sweater with lacy collar. And then the ears and the top head foof. It's all fluffy. Head foof. Big blue eyes. And a foofy tail. If you end up with foof, you end up being Mayor Bellwether. All right, we have Linda. Proud member of the Park Watch. Keeps detailed account of all suspicious activity. Has police on speed dial. Oh, how funny. And that is a French poodle. 
Very cute. Linda. Linda the park monitor. Yep. Now you know why she has her binoculars. <laughs> oh, I have a pink dog. This has to be like a chihuahua or something. Yep, Those are big ears. That's Chachi. Chachi. Chachi, hoping for the day that her mother stops dressing her secretly goth and loathes pink. Oh. So she's a chihuahua or chihuahua. She does not want her mom to keep dressing her because she's a secret goth puppy who hates pink. I think that's adorable. <laughs> she's wearing like a very proper little sweater with like gold bead trim and a little tiara. <laughs> she has, oh no, it's a necklace with a little yeah. pendant there. Stop dressing me. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. That is cute. I like the pink on that one. Oh, I have another squirrel. Oh, man. Good job. Oh, this, oh. this was like an ice cream squirrel. So the tail, it looks like uh, ice cream with sprinkles on it and the top the same way. Otherwise, it's very purple, but purple like a bunch of grapes, not like a plum. Let's see. We have nibbles. Attack mode. Sneaks into the garden to take a bite out of all the tomatoes. That squirrel's been in our yard. That squirrel has been, <laughs> yep. And they will take just one bite out of each, like, fruit. Yep. And leave the rest. Yep. Ruin the whole garden. It's very frustrating. <laughs> okay, oh, this is a cute puppy. This one reminds me of Valentine's Day, just because of the pink. Or the red hat ladies. Not pink, because of the red. Or the red hat ladies with the red and purple. <laughs> this one is reading a very fancy book, Eat, Bark, Play, which is a play on, <laughs> what is it? Eat, Love, Live, or Eat, Live, Love, something. Um, eat, Love, Pray? Maybe that's what it is. So here's our cute puppy. Very soft ears. I'm going to say this is like a Cocker Spaniel, but maybe, we'll see. Maybe, it, maybe it's Eat, Laugh, Pray. Oh, I was so close. King Charles Spaniel. Oh, it was a spaniel, though. This is Victoria. She practices self-care. She loves to read a good book, and she's thinking about taking cooking lessons. <laughs> That's just like our kitty Jack. He takes cooking lessons. Yes, I feel he like he does. He watches Paul cook in the kitchen all the time. Yep. Okay. Next one. Oh, wow. Okay, I have another <laughs> dog. This one, this one looks like a burrito to me. I think just the color. I don't know. Or a bean. It has a little purple argyle sweater on. It has a bone and large ears. I don't know if this is a pug or what it is. It is a pug. Otis, English lit professor. Thinks sweater vests make him look more intellectual. Loves brownies. <laughs> that could be a combination of my son and I. <laughs> son loves sweaters and I like brownies. Paul was just thinking about buying brownies. I was. <laughs> I think you should buy them now. I don't puppies think so. so. I don't think so. I don't think you buy some puppies. All right, here's a cute little puppy with lots of tennis balls. <laughs> this must be friends with the other guy up yep. here that, you know, has to have tennis ball intervention. Uh, here's the cute puppy. This is a Jack Russell, so another terrier. Camilla has 18 tennis balls but needs the one behind the <laughs> couch. That's true. That's a true dog thing there. <laughs> yep. So very cute Camilla. Okay, this is me my last package. Oh, I have a purple dog. Oh, cute. Is this going to be a husky, maybe? It has a big bushy tail. I'm going to go with Australian Shepherd. Maybe. It has one ear flopped over. That's not very husky-ish. So, let's see. We have Frank. Frank is a border collie, so uh -huh. you were close. Uh, let's see. Herd's children. Gets a buzz by bolting through the invisible fence. May have control <laughs> issues. <laughs> That's my dog right there. Yep. Uh, there we go. Oh, I wonder if they so, made a husky. Frank the border collie. Now I want a husky, now that you said huskies. Here, you can go right there, Frank. There's room for you. I bet Hazel is a husky. Hazel the husky? Hazel. Oh, yeah, probably. Come on, Hazel. We did not get Hazel. Oh, this one is adorable. This is a farmer, a farmer what? dog. He's wearing his little denim overalls and has a little carrot. Tongue sticking out. He's like, I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. <laughs> oh, his little overalls. He has little pockets on the back. and He has a bone in the pocket. That's so cute. I bet that's a retriever. Probably. Golden Retriever. Yep, Golden Retriever. Gary. He answers to Handsome. Spends most of the day staring out the window, and he suffers from separation anxiety. That's probably pretty accurate of Golden Retrievers. They're so cute. So, Gary is adorable. 
All right, thank you one more time to Sepia for sending us the Squirrels versus Dogs. Or Dogs versus Squirrels, whatever order they're in. Dogs versus Squirrels. These are awesome, and I did want to point out you only get two squirrels per package, the same way you only get two pickles yep. per Cats versus Pickles. So squirrels are rare. They are. All right, let's pick a favorite, Shannon. Okay, so they're all really cute, but I'm going to go with my friend Kenneth over here. I love his glasses and his little pencil and tie. Okay. He's a little CPA. He's a numbers guy. He is. He is. Okay, I have to go with Nibbles the squirrel. Very cute. Just because of the uh, garden issues. Yes. How about you guys? Which one of these did you like the best? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Hit the share button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That's going to make you part of the PS Toy Reviews crew where we uh, encourage you to behave in the park. Otherwise, Linda might call the police. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.